it so happened that Russians in most cases prefer SUVs with a trailer to pickups. The loading height of the trolley is less, you can take away more, and the trunk of the car at the same time remains free, to the delight of a hunting dog. True, using this option for housekeeping is not always convenient, especially if the path of a farmer or a hunter runs through swampy relief roads, where the trailer will naturally take away the lion's share of the cross-country ability from any SUV. For work in such conditions, frame pickups are taken, light trucks, which are subject to the same requirements as for tracked military vehicles, cross-country ability, reliability, and maintainability. Otherwise, the owner will have a hard time. Due to the emergence of the necessary consumer demand, a famous pickup truck reached Russia, taking part of the audience from the Mitsubishi L200 and Nissan Navara. True, this happened only in 2010, when the Hilux was already produced in the seventh generation, 7G. For our country, cars assembled in South Africa and Thailand were intended, however, the Arab versions of the pickup truck, imported into the Russian Federation in a roundabout way, are by no means uncommon slash. By the way, Hilux from the UAE can be found with a 2.7 petrol engine, while car dealerships offer us only diesels with a volume of 2.5 and 3.0 liters. None of the listed aggregates was observed in chronic fragility. All that is required from the pickup truck during the period of operation is the replacement of consumables and topping up the oil about once every three to 4,000 kilometers. Among the attachments, the generator may be prematurely surrendered. Owners who have lost the warranty repaired the assembly with their own hands, changing either hanging, current collecting brushes, or a burned out diode bridge. As far as the engine is concerned, that's all. Even 3.0 liter units, overgrown with piston grew problems on other models, under the hood of the Hilux, behave flawlessly. Transmission incidents are much more likely. For example, versions with a manual transmission are often scolded for weak grip, which, in the worst case scenario, did not live up to 80,000 kilometers. The main thing in this case is to recognize the problem in time and replace the disc, paired with the release bearing, otherwise the purchase of a flywheel will be added to the expense item. The gearbox itself is trouble-free, like a Kalashnikov assault rifle. It does not require attention to itself. However, the automatic transmission, which works in conjunction with the 3.0-liter engine, is also considered reliable. All-wheel drive Hilux 7G is organized according to the classic part-time scheme for most pickups. Front axle connection actuator failures are exceptional cases found on Arabic versions of cars, but the oil seals of the front gearbox flow in many cars that have departed more than 60,000 kilometers. Do not forget about the scheduled oil change dates and bridges, especially if you like to put a wave in front of you when crossing a deep stream. Toyota Hilux 7G, in continuation of tradition, remains a real testing ground for off-road tuning. True, with this pickup there are situations when a more logical way out, except to buy reinforced parts from third-party manufacturers, does not come to mind. Most often, shock absorbers of the front struts are replaced, which, at temperatures below minus 20 degrees Celsius, can even curl into a ram's horn for moderate loads or break at the lower eye, as is usually the case with the VAZ Classic. Another reason for tuning the suspension was the behavior of the pickup truck on the highway, causing discomfort at cruising speeds. The unnerving goat of an empty car is eliminated by replacing the shock absorbers and refining the springs. The latter, by the way, became the second most popular reason for discussion. Of course, you are unlikely to break them, but if the space between the sheets is not lubricated in time, then the creak from the rear suspension will slowly but surely drive you crazy. Overall, the Hilux's suspension is hardy. All elements of the chassis, with the exception of ball bearings and front wheel bearings, hold more than 100,000 kilometers without problems. The engineers also managed to equip the pickup truck with strong wear-resistant brakes, so you don't need to change pads and discs often. It will be necessary to follow the steering, where the anthers of the rods turned out to be a weak point. If this moment is overlooked, then the hinge will have to be changed before reaching the milestone of 100,000 kilometers. The Hilux body, planted on a solid steel frame, requires almost no attention to itself. The main thing is not to tighten the sides of the body with belts too much, otherwise you can get repaired by a local welder to eliminate cracks. The paintwork is generally stable, however, in a turbocharged monster, the nostrils of the air intake often peel off, which dealers periodically repaint. Complaints often arise about the rusting beam located under the rear bumper. 
The culprit was the design of the muffler, directing the exhaust gases straight to the power element. The soundproofing of a pickup truck belongs to the category of sometimes worse, so many owners are engaged in additional sizing of the interior. Only a few achieved the necessary effect from the improvements, while the rest had to put up with the brutality of the Japanese car. However, it would be foolish to hope for excesses of comfort. A rattling glove compartment, a passenger visor that does not close completely and crickets in the cabin are a common thing. Often dealers change the steering wheel under warranty. The reason for this was either a recall campaign to fix problems with the airbag, or peeling rim skin, or sticky audio buttons. Almost everyone who listens to music from CD media complains about the radio tape recorder itself, which lives its own life. Turns on by itself, turns off by itself. Don't worry, this is the case with many Toyota cars. We tell you about the radio, squeaks, anthers, oil seals and other little things, but in a serious way we manage to find fault only with the generator, clutch and some elements of the chassis. We have not yet met an ideal car in terms of reliability, but we note that the Hilux, performing the functions of a pickup truck perfectly well, has endurance that many competitors will envy. However, the car will not allow you to close your eyes to some of its features. Just like on any other SUV, you will have to check the condition of the transmission and suspension after each outing into difficult places. The main thing to remember is that, with a fool, you can break the legend. 